Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So today I have my new CNC router. Um, this is a Bulkman 3D Lead 1010, uh, which is strongly based on the Open Builds open source CNC machine. Um, as you can tell, uh, this is going to take some assembly to do. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and see what we got. So first up, in this box, I already know, because I, I looked at it, I've had this box actually a couple of weeks now, so I just wanted to take a look what was already in it. So, lovely packing foam. So here we got all the lead screws, and this model is um, based on your um, lead screw. Um, to control uh, the movements on your gantry and all that. So we got all the lead screws. And then we got the aluminum track, which is all extruded aluminum. More pack and foam. Uprights for gantry and my Z. Another upright for my gantry. And then the pieces for the main frame. Whee! And more packing foam. This is actually really well packed. I was uh, very happy to see how well this was packed. So we'll get that box out of the way. And that's pretty well everything in that box, which is basically all the frames and the lead screws. So let me get that out of the way and we'll get to the other box, which... Now in this box is all the wiring, all the electrical, so we got our cable management chain, a couple of runs of that. We got a huge, uh, all the cables for the motors. This I'm going to have to look into what this is for. Um, assuming a power, uh, either a power cable or communication cable of some sort, it is shielded. Actually, all the wires are shielded, so that's nice to see. Oh, what else do we got here? A bag of hardware. So these are all the screws, bolts, corner pieces, um, bearings. Yeah. And everything is labeled. That's, that's nice. And they also give us some spare parts. I don't know. I'll have to wait to see what those spare parts are. Then, what's this? Oh, stop button, emergency stop button. Um, these are all the collars for for the spindle or for the router itself. So we got a whole bunch of different sizes here, both in metric and imperial. A bag of hardware and I'm assuming some brackets. It looks like brackets. Woo, don't want to lose those. And like I say, all this is really well packed. And I'm thinking labeled. So I shouldn't go too far with the uh, with uh, taking everything apart and not remembering what's what. Okay, so this is, oh, okay, this is the bracket for 
the spindle itself or the router itself. Making sure I don't throw anything away. Um, oh, this is the speed control for the spindle. Looks very similar to the one that I have for my belt grinder. Those are pretty standard. Make sure I don't use lose the manual for that. I might need that. What else we got? There's a lot of packaging. going to be my 12 volt power supply to run the motors and stuff. I think it's 12 volts. Sorry, 24 volt power supply. Ooh, this is a heavy guy. I'm assuming one of the motors. Yep. Yeah, just one of the motors. And they're stepper motors. And we got one of those. Should have four. Let's see. Yeah. And we got three more of those. Oh, what's in here? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And this is. I actually upgraded to. The CNC X Pro version 5, um, which is done by Sp Spark Concepts. And this is the controller for all the stepper motors and all that. Um, I went with this one because I figured it's going to be the easiest one to set up. And also it's already in a nice, nice um, case where uh, the rest of them are kind of just kind of open and you have to put them in your case yourself. So this comes with a bunch of cables and uh, little connectors for it, some brackets, um, your your stop switches. So we'll just put all that back together and put that, I'm running out of room here. <laughs> oh, what else? Okay, so a couple more brackets, some more brackets and this is uh, my spindle for the router and I went with a 1.5 kilowatt spindle so yeah, that's that and that comes with actually uh, electrical plug that goes on to the top of that so that's nice. So as you can kind of tell, there's a little bit of assembly with this. Uh, I'm not going to go deep into the um, assembly of it because this is um, this model is based on the Open Builds lead model, um, and Open Builds is an um, open source uh, project for CNC machines, and they did a really excellent video. The link down below about that. Um, where they go step by step of all the assembly. Uh, there's also a downloadable PDF. I think it's like 29 pages long about assembly. So I'm not going to go into assembly because someone else has already done a better job at it than I probably could. So I'm going to set this up. And now, you know, if I find anything weird with setting it up, I'll let you guys know. But, uh, I'm gonna set it up. <laughs> so the assembly of this actually wasn't too hard. It does take some time because there's just so many parts. Um, the hardest thing was actually, for me, was to get these bearings in these little wheels. Um, about halfway through, my palm really was hurting. I probably should have put some lube on those bearings before putting them in, but I got through it. Um, now, one thing I will say, if you do buy this from the Bulkman 3D, 
Um, you want to use his instructions uh, just because halfway through your build or like three quarters of the way through your build, you're going to run out of parts if you're following the open builds um, video. Now, I would still say watch the open builds video, but keep to the Bulkman 3D um, instructions. Because like I said, you're going to get uh, three quarters of the way through and you're going to find out you don't have enough T-nuts to actually put the whole frame together. Now, there is a lot of repetition with putting this together. Um, a lot of the carriages um, and stuff actually is the exact same. So, you know, it's not bad. Now, I'm building this on... Uh, two workbenches that are two foot by four foot. Um, I picked them up from Canadian Tire for relatively cheap and they work okay. Um, I'm not really too sure if I'm gonna keep um, the router on it or not. I think I'm just gonna have to um, play with it a little bit and see how I like it. Um, they do for, for now. Uh, one thing I will say is I wish I did pull them away from the wall as well as the filing cabinet. It would have made um, assembly of the big, like the overall frame, a lot easier. Um, you'll see a little bit later on, I actually had to put a little bit together, slide it to get to the back end. But I got through it. Um, you also notice some uh, change in clothes here and there, and maybe the light in the back. Um, I actually had to... Because it took so long, I actually had to spend an hour one day, two hours on the next day to actually put this uh, together. So it actually did take a couple of days for me to get this fully built. Another thing that I will say that was a little tricky and, and the instructions weren't really good with is um, the drag chain. Um, that, like I said, didn't really have any instructions, so you kind of have to wing, wing it how you're putting it together. Uh, I did eventually figure out how I kind of like it, um, but I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more this because um, when it moves back and forth, it actually slides a little bit out of, like, not in the right way. So... Yeah, here's where I'm actually have to turn it just to actually get to the backside. Um, so I wish I did pull those uh, workbenches out. And now I'm coming up to basically the, the main frame is, is built. Um, like I said, it wasn't that hard. Um, I think I'm a, a, about four hours into it right at this point in time. Um, and getting close to being able to do the wiring and stuff. Yeah, here's the drag chain that I, I was talking about. Um, it actually comes in three pieces, and you have to take one of the pieces apart to make the other two a little bit longer. And here I'm just starting to actually put all the connections on the uh, stepper motors. Um, this kit actually has a nice um, connection for the ends of your wires and your stepper motors. So they just um, actually plug into each other. Another thing I like about this set um, is that all the cables actually had a label on it to like say your X, Y, Z so it was really nice to actually um, be able to run all the wires and then it actually is already pre-labeled. Now that's for the stepper motors. I noticed with the um, limit switches, the sticker was actually on the side that the switch is. So when you, I actually put a label on the other end so when i connect the two my controller i know which one's going okay so i'm just a little bit over five hours into this build um and i got 
the frame built as you can see and the uh, stepper motors all set up and wired up I got the controller wired up with the stepper motors and I'm gonna give this the first try <laughs> oh, yay. So, I still got a little bit of uh, tweaking to do on it, um, making sure that the steppers are going actually in the right direction. I still got the limited stops uh, switches to be put on and um, dealing with the spindle. So, I'm going to take a little bit to set that up and uh, I'll bring it back once I got everything complete and ready to do its first run. 